We are here today celebrating the grand opening of the KUKA Austin office. It's both business and R&D, and we're super excited to be part of the global KUKA family. So the KUKA office is to be a center of excellence for KUKA for software development, um, specifically software development relating to web, mobile, and cloud technologies. Why are we doing R&D in Austin, Texas, and not in Silicon Valley? So it's this great combination of Western style, technology, music, food, culture, and government that blends together to bring you things like South by Southwest, some of the best music you've ever heard, some of the best food you've ever had, and frankly, a fantastic place to work. ATX is fantastic. We keep it a little weird, but it's really one of the best places to be. This event is important for KUKA as a company because it represents part of its global expansion out of its kind of core in Germany to having R&D sites that are multinational where we can access resources from around the world. Core competencies in Germany are different than core competencies in the US and together we have this kind of global perspective so that KUKA can serve its customers throughout the world. Like we showed at Hanover Mesa recently, this team is uh, delivering web, mobile, and cloud-based asset views for you to be able to view the uh, robots in your factory and be able to monitor the condition of the robots. What we did at Hanover Mesa essentially was taking a concept of a smart factory that involves a variety of different KUKA robots and really is trying to mimic how can you monitor all of these different KUKA devices in a very seamless you know, web and cloud interface. As a production manager, I could see how many iPhone that we produced over the last hour. Uh, how many Android phone cases have we produced in the last 20 minutes. So there's a lot of flexibility and freedom and we just really want to showcase to our customers that through web and mobile technologies, you know, you could have you know, access to information through your robots at anywhere, at any time, all within your fingertips. Companies like Netflix, like Microsoft, like Facebook, like Google's, I mean, they're really leveraging uh, the cloud and internet ecosystem to really derive new values to the consumers, to the end users. So I think for KUKA is really trying to understand what those things are and how we can introduce the, those technologies to the core robotic systems. So fundamentally, what is the future of robotics? When you truly connect the robot mechanicals fluidly and seamlessly to the cloud. I believe the greatest promise I've seen is in deep learning technologies that have access to the world set of robotic automation problems to learn against so that we can create very robust solutions. So deep learning will give us more robust algorithms. And most importantly, if we can have imitative learning of robot operation, then it's much, much easier to automate any given solution. The main barrier to adoption of automation is the cost it takes to write a specific solution for a specific robot. If we can observe all of the different solutions as they're written, we'll be able to drastically drive down the time it takes to train a robot to do what you want it to do. Orange Intelligence.